There's something therapeutic about just basking in sunlight. It feels really good. And what if I say there's something medically therapeutic about sunlight? Sunlight or light therapy or phototherapy is the use of light to treat medical disorders. And we commonly use it to treat things like jaundice of the newborns. Newborns can develop jaundice, you know, the yellowing, yellowing of the skin and the eyes due to a buildup of a waste product called bilirubin. And that comes from red blood cells and babies are especially susceptible because of a multitude of reasons. Their livers aren't developed. Maybe there's a malformation where they can't excrete it and maybe there's an increased breakdown of these red blood cells. Whatever, whatever the reason, they can build up this waste product, bilirubin. And it's not just cosmetic odor turning yellow. It can build up in their brain, cause seizures and death. And someone figured that if you shine light on it, it can interact with that bilirubin, make it more easily dissolvable in water, water soluble, and they can excrete it better. So a non-invasive, very effective way to treat a very dangerous disorder. We can also use light to treat other skin disorders like psoriasis, eczema, certain types of skin cancer. So we can use it for a wide range of medical disorders, but its current use is a lot different from its historical use. So let's go back in history. Back then, uh, TB was one of the biggest medical epidemics and still kind of is at that time, tuberculosis. And tuberculosis, we usually think of, oh, it affects the lungs, and it does. But TB, tuberculosis, can spread anywhere. It can spread to your spine, cause POTS disease. It can spread to your liver, cause hepatitis. It can spread to your skin, cause lupus vulgaris, and that causes this chronic, massive scarring that can last for 20 plus years, basically envelops your face. Horrific scarring, unfortunately, we didn't really have a lot of things that could treat it until one fateful discovery. Enter Niels Finsen. Now, Niels Finsen was an Icelandic doctor born in 1860. Moved to Copenhagen to study medicine, but his studies were limited because he suffered from Niemann Pick's disease. Niemann Pick's disease is an inherited disorder where your cells can't break down a type of fat called sphingomyelin. And when it can't break down that fat, the fat builds up, destroys your cells and any organ that your cells are in. Can affect your brain, cause unsteady gait, seizures, dementia can affect your liver, cause hepatitis, make you build up fluid in your belly called ascites, can affect your bone marrow cells, cause anemia. And he suffered from a lot of these symptoms. He had anemia, he was tired all the time. He had his big belly full of ascites, so he was wheelchair bound. And he was struggling through his studies. And he was struggling, he was tired, and he would find solace because he would, wheel, he would wheel himself out in front of his house and just sit in the sunlight. And when he sat in the sunlight, when sometimes we sit in the sunlight, it feels better, right? we feel better. And being the astute scientist he was, he said, is there a medical reason why I feel better? Is the sunlight somehow making me feel better? And that was this aha moment. Maybe I can use light, sunlight, to treat medical conditions like what I'm suffering from. And at that time, infectious diseases were all the rage. People were trying to find causes and cures for infectious diseases. And like I said, lupus vulgaris, TB of the face, was a horrific disease that, that didn't have a treatment at that time. And he was like, well, maybe light can treat it. And he was shining light in people with lupus vulgaris and their symptoms would recede, maybe due to his bacterial cytal effects, maybe due to his skin stimulating effects of light. Whatever the cause may be, the symptoms resolved. And that was his, wow, I did it. I discovered something. And that kind of changed the game. And that was using sunlight. He also knew that too much sunlight was a bad thing. I mean, think of sunburns. That was already known at the time. And he saw that people with smallpox that were exposed to sunlight got increased scarring. So he said, well, I can use sunlight. What if I also reduce sunlight? Well, if I take people with smallpox and reduce their sunlight, and he showed that if you reduce sunlight, you have less scarring and complications. So he used both a reduction of sunlight and sunlight to treat medical disorders. And this would open up a whole new avenue of medicine, which we now know as phototherapy. And for his work in phototherapy, he would receive the Nobel Prize in 1903. That's Niels Finsen, that's phototherapy. Hope you enjoyed this video. But before I go, I always have to ask a kind of stimulating question. My stimulating question for today is, what do you think about suntan beds? It seems kind of like a, like a left turn, but it's not. Uh, back in the day, back when I was a teenager, it was all the rage to be super, super tan, like bronze tan. And I was living in California even more so. Everyone wanted to just be surf with bronze tan. And people would go to sun tanning beds. People would put fake tans, anything they could do to be really, really tan. But they didn't really think of the long-term consequences. And like everything, there are some pros and there are some cons. What are your current thoughts about tanning beds? Do the pros outweigh the cons? Do the cons outweigh the pros? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of this series, make sure you subscribe and click somewhere here for another video of this series. Thanks.